So it took the kids and I about, I don't know, about 20 minutes or so to walk around and harvest all these guys. Along the way, we saw several different plants that we got some nibbles off of. We got some partridge berry, some beauty berry. I think we talked and looked at a few other mushrooms as well. Just click like, subscribe if you haven't already. I'll be right back with the rest of this video. I'm doing a little bit of mushroom foraging for dinner tonight. Drop that guy in here. Awesome. Pretty nice. Ooh, there's some nice ones. Ooh, that's a bunch of nice ones. A whole bunch in there. There must have been a lot more over there than what I saw. Here you go. Jump around in there. Awesome. Look at all these guys under there, buddy. That's a bunch of nice ones. See them? I do. You just pick them and pass them to me, I'll clean them. How'd that sound? Up, up a little bit. Almost got it. Perfect. That's a nice one right there. It's a little bit past its prime. Most of these might be. That one's pretty good shape. They like to hide underneath that pine straw there. You'll just pick them and pass them to me. I'll clean them for you, buddy. That way you don't have to be squatted down there so long. You see those guys, don't you? What? These right here. Oh, those are not good. They're bad. They all soft. Yeah. Yeah. All right, you feel like you got them all? It's all right, we'll find some more. There's one, buddy. See it? Probably best from this direction. Can you? All right. Baby goats. Nice. Baby goats. Man, there we go. Awesome. Oh, that's that one's in prime. There's one over there. That one's pretty nice. Awesome. You see, one of the things that he's doing there is we're getting rid of the dirt off of the base of the mushroom before we put it with our other mushrooms. It just makes the cleaning process much simpler by not adding extra dirt to the already dirty situation. 
the oyster mushroom. Now, how do we know that this is an oyster mushroom? Well, it can be white to light brown to a little bit darker brown than the cat. It will always grow on decaying wood. It will have the current gills, gills that run down the stem. If there is a stem, you will more likely see a stem if they're growing on top of a log than if they're growing on the side or underneath. If they're growing underneath or on the side, you'll have very little stem. Now the stem is usually off-centered if there is a stem and these guys grow like a shell fungus. You see the gills are the current on both sides and the gills don't split but they do have some gills that run down only halfway or partially. Now sometimes this has a sweet smell Sometimes they smell like fresh oysters, and sometimes they'll smell like uh, licorice, like uh, a niece or something like that. So let's uh, go ahead and pop this guy off, and we'll take a look at him from underneath. Now that, the one down there at the bottom, had a little more look of a classic oyster that you might see. There's very little stem in the stem being off to the side. And this one here too also is off centered. And you can see what I mean by the gills being the current, meaning that the gills run down onto the stem, if there is one. That happened on both of these two guys, or all these guys. I can say with a rather large degree of certainty, these are the oyster mushrooms. And we are gonna add these to our meal tonight. A couple there. Some there on top of that little ridge there too. Yeah. That one's too soft. Yeah. If they're too soft and spongy, it's better to leave them because they will degrade the quality of the rest of the mushrooms. Yeah, look at that. That one too soft? No. Awesome. Ooh, look over there, buddy. Oh, wow. Wow, that's nice. That's a nice guy right there. All of these guys. There was a pretty large one next to that one as well. It's a shame it wasn't open. I'll clean them, buddy. Just pick them. trail there. Oh, nice, buddy. We're getting close to having a, a nice meal. There's usually a couple of flushes right up here along the bank. But you see some? Just this thing. Oh, yeah. That is... Uh, Probably a gopher, but the, I don't know that. It's kind of a high hole for a gopher. It's been dug out since the last time I looked at it. Yeah. I, uh, I no first noticed it a few months ago. Oh, Daddy. You see all the berries? All the what? The berries. Oh, yeah. Tell the guys what kind of berries those are. They're partridge berries. Partridge berries. The only berry that I'm aware of with a double crown. Okay. A partridge berry. Michelle ripens. 
graffiti drawing on the pro porous floor. It has a double crown. See that? That's because it has a double bloom that gets impregnated or fertilized. And so when the berry forms, it has a double crown. You'll notice that the leaves come in pairs opposite each other, but they come up and off of the stem. It's got over here, another guy. Pretty good look there. The double crown. Awesome stuff. If you pick all those, buddy, we'll uh, eat them down for a little snack. All right. If you get them in your hand, I'll get a close-up on it. Chantrell? Nope. That's probably. I don't know. I guess it's a rough look. Some sort. Get the berries. Let's look at them. Awesome. See if we can get that double crown in there. You see that double crown? Awesome. Eat those and enjoy them all. Wait. Don't like that guy. Was a, see, that guy is a big mushroom, but it's kind of puffy and squishy. Don't like them. These guys. I like that guy. That one feels nice. That one's nice. That one's nice. I've gotten particular about which ones I allow to be in our food because the more, yeah, I don't like that one. That one's nice. Awesome. We just leave them behind. American Beauty Berry. And these guys are edible. For sure. They don't taste like much. A little sweeter than a partridge berry. A little sweeter than a partridge berry. <laughs> and sometimes they have sort of a little perfumey flavor to them. Yeah, they really actually sweet. make a really good jam and jelly. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. Good stuff. It's prime. What was that? Uh, I don't know. My guess would be maybe a peppery milk cap or the blue green staining poisonous look alike. Is that the only one that's any good? What? Is that the only one that's any good? No. Oh, pick them all while you're there. Okay. No use in picking them and walking out with them. Looks like there's a sizable one to your right, too. Yeah. See that one right there to your right? And there's one more to your right still. Can you see it? Yep, that's it. Awesome. That's a sizable amount of mushroom right there, buddy. Let's take a look at what you got. guy right here 
the spiny orb weaver, the golden crown spider. Some people refer to him as a crab spider, which makes sense because of his little shell, but he is definitely not a crab spider. Um, I've played with these guys pretty much all my life, and I've never ever been bitten by one. And they are really pretty spiders. Now that shell can be white to yellow. It can even have red spiky tips on it. And he's done hanging out. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see what you got. Ooh, that's a nice one. Yeah, that's what I was saying. We might have us a nice mess of shoe and trails. That one thing. needs a little, a lot of cleaning there. Yeah, it's so large though. Yep. Nice There's a one. small thing I saw back in there that I wanted to check out. A what? I'm not sure what it was. Oh, that's why you want to check it out. Yeah. All right. What you got there? Oh yeah, nice. Awesome. That's, oh man, that's about three pounds of mushrooms. I uh, see that mushroom back there. Not that familiar with it, but it's growing in and around a bunch of more partridge berries. It's pretty awesome. Another partridge berry right there, too. Come get these guys right here, buddy. Questionable, man. I don't like it. Are they all soft like that? Yeah. Well, then we'll leave them behind. The one I see back there. You see it? See what? Right back there. Find that little sapling there. Go straight ahead, straight right there. See if you see something. You see it on the ground there? How far back? Right there, yeah. You see that? This yeah, that is that a chantrail? It's a leaf. Oh, a leaf. Orange leaf. They get me sometimes. Look at those guys hidden underneath that log right there. Nice. I don't like that one. Looks like there's one poked back there. You see it? See it right over there? Oh. <laughs> These guys are growing in and amongst these chanterelles, but I don't think they're chanterelles. That guy is. See any others back here? Oh, there's one right there. See that 
we go. Pretty. Awesome. Ooh, there's a pretty one. Two pretty ones, maybe three. Yep. And yep. Huh? That one's firm. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. The little guy back there. But Let's, let's take a look. Oh, yeah. Should be nice. It, uh, fresh. They fill somewhere between maybe three or four pounds. But when I actually cook these, it's going to be... They shrink up so much, so it takes a lot of them if you're wanting them to be a, a main portion of your dish. Guys sure are pretty, man. Awesome, guys. We're going to enjoy these. Thanks for watching. Click like, subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll be back with more cool videos just like this. See ya. Bye.